Does a liquidation affect my credit score? Yeah, this is a question on most directors' lips before they take insolvency advice. And it, it's a scary thought, isn't it? You liquidate a business, but what's going to happen to you personally? What about your home? What about your car? What about the money you've got, uh, you know, in your savings account? And I'm going to answer this as plainly as I can. In most cases, no, a liquidation does not affect your personal credit score. When you set up a limited company, you've got this limited liability structure around you. So let's imagine there's Chris Worden Limited and there's Chris Worden. Now, Chris Worden Limited owes a bounce back loan. It owes some HMRC arrears uh, and it owes some suppliers. Now, you've got to remember the definition between Chris Worden and Chris Worden Limited. It's Chris Worden Limited that owes the money not Chris Worden. Now, if Chris Worden decides to liquidate Chris Worden Limited, those debts will get written off and there will be nothing that will appear on Chris Worden's personal credit score. Okay? So, no, a liquidation does not affect your personal credit score in any way, shape or form. But there are some things that I want to mention to you because, number one, you might have signed a personal guarantee. You might have signed a personal guarantee with a supplier or with a bank for an overdraft um, or, or some type of loan that you've taken. Now, what happens is when you go into liquidation, whoever you've signed a personal guarantee with will serve notice on the director asking for the money back. So let's just say a high street bank, you owe them 25 grand on a personally guaranteed overdraft. A week after you go into liquidation, they write to you, going, Mr. Word, and we want the £25,000 back. Well, I'm going to say to the bank, well, I haven't got the £25,000. And then I've got a number of options. I can look to restructure that loan with the bank into another loan. In 99% of cases, they'll do that because they just want the money back. And they don't really want to start going down a long and arduous legal process to try and get 25 grand back off you. They'll just do you another loan. And as long as you keep paying that loan back, it will not even appear on your credit score. And that's the same for other financial institutions and most suppliers. They just want to get paid. The key thing is don't bury your head in the sand. If you've got a personal guarantee, I actually did a webinar on the channel last week uh, with Gary Whitehead of AFT Assist. It might be worth you watching that. Number two, if you have an overdrawn director's loan account, I have done so many videos on overdrawn director's loans, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on this video, but it's essentially when you owe the company money and you go into liquidation. An insolvency practitioner is duty-bound to try and recover that money that you owe the company to disperse it to creditors. Now, here's the reality. If you bury your head in the sand and you do not deal with this director's loan account, you don't you don't make any type of offer to repay it, um, and you have, you, you have equity in your home, you've got investments, it could lead to the bankruptcy court. Now, let me tell you, there are ways to deal with these director's loans. And the first one is understand whether you've got one. And number two, understand how you're going to deal with it. But if you was to bury your head in the sand, eventually the insolvency practitioner would have to make you bankrupt. And obviously a bankruptcy does affect your personal credit score. But please, please, you're never going to let it get to that stage because you watch this channel and we give really good advice about what you need to do if you're ever faced in this position. Now, number three, fraudulent bounce back loan applications. Um, and yeah, <laughs> these are a big topic at the moment. If you've taken a bounce back loan fraudulently, if you've misappropriated it, I've done lots of videos on this. You know who you are. You took one and you shouldn't have took one. You took 50 grand when you should have took 10 grand. You took all the money out of the business account into your personal account on day one. And then you spent it on a new extension or paying off your mortgage or buying a buy to let. Listen, this is an issue. The insolvency service and the insolvency practitioners are really focusing on this right now. 
They're looking to investigate anybody where there is a suspicion of bounce back loan fraud. And if you don't deal with this, if you don't comply, this also could lead into the bankruptcy court. And again, a bankruptcy affects your personal credit score. So they're the three three areas where a liquidation may affect your credit score. Again, the key advice I'm giving you today is if you're worried about your finances, if your business is struggling and you want to know what your position is and where ways to options when you're faced into this position please get in touch with us please give us a comment give us a like give us a share if you're watching us on youtube subscribe to the channel thanks for your time my name's chris word and see you soon goodbye